Hey there, this is Mark Johnson from tech-knives.com and today I'm going to give you just a, my first impressions on the new iPad. Now, number one, um, it's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit heavier than the previous one. Still very thin. Um, you know, this one does have the 4G LTE and uh, there's where the SIM card goes on the side. Now, I'm just going to talk about a few things on this real quick, you know, kind of let you know whether it's something for you or you may want to pass on it. Number one, the display is phenomenal. I mean, you have 2048 by 1536. Um, the resolution on this is higher than people's HD TVs. It's higher on any mobile device you'll ever get at this moment. And it's just, it's just fantastic. I mean, it, it's very fluid. I have yet to be able to see any pixels, so it does live up to the hype. Um, obviously, depending on your eyes and how you see things, you know, it could vary for you. But ultimately, if, once you look at this display and then you look at an, an older display, you'll, you won't want to go back. Second, I'm going to just talk about a few of the apps that really kind of show this off. And they, they're all going to be games for the most part. Number one is Infinity Blade. Um, very, very good graphics. It, it looks just as good as probably most people's Xbox or um, PS3 or something of the sort. Another one is going to be uh, Modern Combat 3, which is does another very good job with the graphics and video. Um, just, you know, it's just better than anything that I've ever seen on a mobile device. And then last but not least, it's going to be Real Racing 2 HD. Now that's a driving game, but what makes this one stand out is if you have the new Apple TV, what you can do is you can play it wirelessly and you end up pretty much using the iPad as a controller and you actually don't see any racing on the screen. It's all on the HDTV itself. So what's cool about it is, is basically you're using this to control it. You're looking at the TV and it works very, very well. Uh, the new Apple TV does give you 1080p and you know overall it's just a good purchase. I mean if you're going to have an iPad or you have an iPhone or iPod Touch the Apple TV gets things to your TV better than just about anything else out there. Um, and it takes like two button clicks. I mean, if you go into music, and uh, let's say if I pick, click on the song real quick here, and then there's the Apple uh, Living Room Apple TV, click on it, and boom, it's on your TV. Music, videos, pictures, the whole nine. So overall, my uh, impressions on it. Do you need this? Uh, if you're an iPad fan, um, and especially if you're coming from an iPad 1, this is a huge jump. If you're coming from an iPad 2, I think it's worth it personally, but it does. the main things from the iPad 2 is if you're getting 4G speed or if you're getting the better camera and the display. And as far as the, dis the uh, speeds go, I'll tell you this part. I'm actually getting faster speeds on this than even my home internet and I've gotten speeds of 26 megs down, 10 up, 14 megs down, 12, 19, 16 megs down. These are speeds that are faster than most people's home internet so definitely um, if you want to have a device that can get you and you know with the speeds you're getting here it is definitely fast enough for even for some people to um, replace their home internet. They don't, some people you know may find that using a tablet is good for them and they don't even need home internet because this is so fast. But last but not least, before I touch on this part, is you can do the personal hotspot. And the personal hotspot, if you take this with you, whether you have uh, laptops, other tablets, phones, you can use this, share the internet connection. This is all included free if you're using Verizon for right now. AT&T, they're still working on it. But Verizon, you can share this out. You can use this on any device and it takes from the pool of, you know, data that you've purchased. So that's another good benefit because if you want to share, you know, like I said, you can use this and it could supply your home internet usage if you don't use a lot of data at home. Uh, and so last but not least, like I said, it, it's a device where if you're an Apple fan, um, you can't go wrong with the new iPad. You can't go wrong with the Apple TV if you, you buy stuff from iTunes. Um, you know, everything's real easy to get. You know, whether it be photo stream, your music, your pictures, all that stuff, you know, seamlessly goes into Apple TV and then you'll be able to pick it up on your iPad, your iPhone and so forth. So, you know, once again, it's Mark Johnson on tech com. You can check me out on YouTube at youtube.com slash the tech snob. And I'm on Twitter as well, the tech snob. And take it easy and have a good one.